And it's been a year since Russia's government passed a law banning U.S. citizens from adopting Russian orphans. The law is a reaction to the U.S. Magnitsky Act, which backlists Russian officials accused of rights abuses. But many Russians viewed the law as wildly disproportionate and cruel to Russia's orphans. Our correspondent Tom Barton went to meet some of the children who are now banned from going west. Around the house. The SOS Children's Home south of Moscow is funded mostly by foreign charity and provides orphans with houses, bedrooms instead of dormitories and paid foster parenting instead of other staff. Sonia here is doing some of her homework, but these kids in this house are very lucky. Many others across Russia live in far worse conditions. <laughs> Reports of cruelty and incompetence involving Russia's 700,000 orphans abound. In just one example, this video showing employees beating and kicking young boys under their care led to outrage across the country. SOS's foster mother, Vera, is one of many Russians who disagree with the ban on U.S. citizens adopting Russian children. Most of the orphans here aren't aware that since last year, Vladimir Putin's government has passed laws which ban U.S. citizens from adopting Russian children and restrict adoptions from many other countries. The Kremlin has pointed to some cases of Russian orphans who have been abused or died with U.S. families as justification for the ban. But when we talked to the man in charge of the well-being of Russia's children, he wanted to liken U.S. adoption to America draining the lifeblood of Russia. You are a recipient of my blood. And you came to me and asked to me to give more blood. You, you tell me, no, you, you have, uh, you have uh, given uh, your blood me during the last 20 years. And now I, I, I want to, to have your blood more and more and more in the future. So this is the same situation in Russia with the international adoption. We are not donors uh, now for the United States of America. Politicians loyal to Putin had warned of retribution for a U.S. bill banning Russian officials implicated in human rights abuses, including the death of lawyer Sergei Magnitsky in detention in 2009, from entering the U.S. It is that tit-for-tat against the U.S., found researchers at the independent polling agency Levada, rather than concern for the welfare of children, that really brought the ban. The clear target of this law was to... to... Uh, to raise the anti-American sentiment. It was evident. And uh, to some point, it worked. Uh, people uh, people uh, support uh, the uh, prohibition on American adoption more than on foreign adoption in general. It was made a showcase in Russian propaganda, in Russian uh, main uh, television channels as a case of how do how awfully do they treat our orphans. Under Russian law, foreign adoption is allowed only after Russian candidates reject the child. A year into this new system, though, it's clear the options for orphans across Russia are even more limited. Tom Barton, Channel News Asia, Moscow.